three, two, one. Blast off as NASA's second rocket slices the Northern Territory's sky towards space. Weldon Flash, my eyes were burning. <laughs> she was bright, very bright. That's a once in a lifetime experience anyway, so it's good to see it, be a part of it. The suborbital sounding rocket, named Sistine 3, lit up the Arnhem Space Centre and roared off before midnight last night. The launch already faced 48 hours of weather delays and was looking close to being called off for another night when the wind calmed and the NASA team found their window to fire. It's really progressing us as, as civilization goes forward. And so it's, yeah, it's pretty wonderful. I'm very excited about it. The rocket is the second of three the NASA team is launching from the spaceport in northeast Arnhem Land, aiming to uncover the mysteries of a distant star system. So all the things we sort of take for granted that happen here on Earth with our sun, we just don't know those things about planets around other stars, and so that's what we're here to measure. It's NASA's first commercial launch mission outside of the US and scientists hope it's the first of many. NASA plans to come back, uh, you know, in other cadets yet, and we hope that this really turns into a successful commercial venture. Here in this shed, technicians are putting the finishing touches on this suborbital sounding rocket named JUICE, which is set for takeoff from the Arnhem Space Centre on the 12th of July. Until then, NASA is relishing in last night's launch and the opportunity to shoot for the stars. Matt Garrick, ABC News, Nullanboy.